Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a dolphin. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the left side, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Pay attention to the distance between the circles. On the right side, draw a small circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. Place this circle lower than the first circle. The edges of the head circle and the first circle should touch. The head circle should be about two-thirds the size of the first circle. Connect the circles on the right using two short lines to create the guide for the neck. The top line should be more sloped than the bottom line. Connect the circles in the middle using two long lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the lines slightly. The shape of the torso should be wide. On the left side, draw two more lines to create the guide for the back portion of the body. The top line should be more sloped than the bottom line. Pay attention to the length of this shape in relation to the rest of the body. On the right side of the head, draw a short curved line as a guide for the rounded mouth. This line should be similar to an arc on its side. On top of the body, draw a triangular shape as a guide for the dorsal fin. The right edge of the dorsal fin should be longer and more curved than the left edge. Under the first circle, draw a triangular shape as a guide for the flipper. This shape should be thinner than the dorsal fin. On the left tip of the body, draw two short sloping lines for the first part of the tail. Make the top line shorter. Close off the shape on the left side using a longer line to finish the guide for the tail. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye slightly to the left of the center of the circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape pointier for the corners of the eye. The right corner of the eye should point down toward the mouth. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Now shade the inside of the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Don't push down too hard on your pencil when you shade. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the eyelid and wrinkles. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Draw another line higher above the eye to emphasize the brow. Use the arc on the right as a guide to draw the mouth. 
darken the top edge of the arc to create the top jaw. Draw a long sloping line across the middle of the shape for the mouth. Extend the mouth to the left so that the tip is close to the eye. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. On the right side, curve the tip of the mouth slightly upward. Now darken the lower edge of the guide to create the bottom jaw. Draw a short curved line at the top for a crease. Now darken the top edges of the guides to create the top part of the head. Make the right side of the head slightly wider than the initial guides. Darken the guides at the bottom to finish the shape of the head. Make the bottom of the head slightly flatter than the initial guides. Darken the triangular shape under the first circle to create the flipper. Make the shape slightly rounder as you darken the lines. Extend the left line so that it curves inside the body. The lines at the top should almost connect. Darken the triangular shape that's on top of the body to create the dorsal fin. Make the shape more curved than the initial guide. Use the small shape on the left side of the body as a guide to draw the tail. Make the left edge of the tail wavier than the initial guideline. Darken the bottom and top edges of the guide. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the dorsal fin or the flipper as you darken the lines. Under the body, draw a small V-shaped line for the other flipper. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value all over the body. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Shade slowly and evenly for a smooth texture on the skin. Leave a thin section blank at the top of the body for a highlight. Slowly and gradually add more value throughout the body. Use a slightly lighter value on the underside of the body. Use strokes that go in the same direction. If you use strokes that go in multiple directions, the drawing can look messy. Use a darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Pick a light source as you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a dolphin. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the dolphin. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. 
Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.